Okay, so so far we have above. And we have the same and the reverse. Run and the reverse. And small. So someone may feel like someone may be elevated um, or somebody just may be elevated or ascended. Um, you know, wisdom of the ages kind of energy. Someone may have thought that them and another person um, were on the same page, on the same level, same energy. Uh, but someone could have chose to walk away. And someone's kind of feeling small. So maybe um, someone said something or did something and, um, you know, it could have possibly backfired. Or they didn't get the reaction that they were expecting because they're not on the same wavelength as somebody. So there could be a difference of opinion, um, religion, ideas. So let's see. Anything else comes out of here before I move on. So love means having to never say... <laughs> love means never having to say you're sorry. So someone may feel like you know, they need to apologize, or maybe they didn't apologize, or they wish they could apologize for something that they did or said or took some sort of action. <clears throat> I ain't got time to bleed in the reverse. So, uh, you know, someone could have been like, eh, you know, something isn't worth my time. Some, you know, like somebody may have been more invested in a situation than another person. Um, someone may not have expected the reaction that they got. Passing your seatbelt, it's going to be a bumpy night in the reverse. So somebody, yeah, somebody didn't expect a backlash or expect a specific response or how somebody responded. So there could have been a conversation or a situation and somebody responded kind of like the opposite of what, you know, someone expected them to. Whoa. What we've got here is a failure to communicate. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Um, you've got red on you. Someone, someone feels like an ass. Someone feels like about two feet tall. Uh, you make me want to be a better man in the reverse. So, you know, um, someone could have gotten called out, you know, like on a behavior. Um, you know, there could have been some lost in translation kind of things going on. Um, something really didn't go the way someone expected it to go. And, you know... Uh, we have determination, Pisces energy. So you can be determined, you know, focused. You can be in your, like, king or queen of swords energy, thinking just very logical. You can be making head over heart decisions, just, you know, speaking the truth, being blunt. Um, you know, not really sugarcoating shit, you know. And someone may not have expected <laughs> the the blunt honest truth like maybe that's what they like appreciated about you but at the same time they weren't expecting um i don't know maybe it was your tone or whatever specifically was said but um, yeah someone didn't expect the response they got <laughs> and they're feeling um you know a certain kind of way about it almost like ashamed or embarrassment uh, you know, like with the red, you've got red on you. Someone could be kind of like, shit, I've been called out or caught kind of energy. So let's see what's going on. I'm going to use these for a while. When you go to a Halloween party as the Hulk and people keep saying they love your Shrek costume. So there was a miscommunication or something was misinterpreted or missaid. Maybe somebody is not really good with communication here. Uh, maybe they say something but mean something completely different. Um, or maybe they were kind of dancing around a situation and you, kind of, you, you could have just like literally called them out on it. Like, um, I know what you think you're trying to say, but... Um, this is what it looks like, or this is what it appears like, and so someone could be really embarrassed by that. When you lay down for a quick nap and wake up eight hours later, so, um, you know, it, when that happens, there could be like a brain fog. Someone could be foggy, not seeing something clearly. That came out sideways. Um, so maybe someone was looking for a quick, you know, link or quick hookup, something like that. Someone was expecting a situation to happen, like, quickly, um... But it's kind of like, okay, something may have 
gotten stopped before it got started kind of energy like something was starting to pick up or accelerate and then it's like er, um let's think ahead a little bit what's going to happen if this happens like you know breaking it down processing um you know having a trying to have a conversation or something like that because there's something to do with communication here and there's some sort of miscommunication or misunderstanding and something was not as it appeared to be or yeah somebody was trying to hide like you know dance around a situation <clears throat> pretend like there was not an elephant in the room when you got to pay taxes what all school taught you how is to calculate the circumference of a parallelogram so someone may not have like a specific experience or certain experience you know, there may be a lack of experience or somebody was not taught how to do something. There's something that you only learn by experience, not from hearing about it or reading in books. So someone may be the kind that learns the hard way. You know, you find out once you, you fuck around and find out. F-A-F-O. When someone who works out starts talking about their workouts. So um, there was something that wasn't being talked about or not being discussed or... Um, you know, like it, it's kind of giving me like the page of swords energy like someone speaking a truth but it's like kind of guilt by omission someone leaving like information out like they're talking about it but maybe you don't want to hear what they're talking about you don't want to you're not trying to hear it when your stepdad rick drinks all your mountain dew so you know someone in your family could be significant um you know there could be a family connection uh, it doesn't have to be a stepdad, but, um, yeah, there's, there's something significant possibly about like a friend relative, you know, or somebody that you view as like a relative or, you know, just someone really close to you that, you know, could have ended in disappointment when you start telling your parents a story and then remember what happened was illegal. So there's something, it's like breaking the rules. There was something regarding breaking the rules um and it's kind of like okay well this is all fun and games and then you're like oh shit i shouldn't be saying this i shouldn't be doing this because if i get caught i'm gonna like get arrested go to jail you know what i mean when you say you speak a little spanish and they try having a full-blown spanish conversation with you so yeah it's like somebody you know it's like somebody just wanted to dab a little bit but you're like okay you laid out the whole situation the whole scenario and someone didn't like the fact that maybe you looked at a situation from all different perspectives and then maybe you had some reservations you're like okay um so if we do this this is going to be the consequences of this is this really what you want kind of thing it's almost it's it's giving me almost like a lecture you know like someone being lectured or feeling like they were lectured when you realize Space Jam came out over 20 years ago, this could be someone that you have an age difference with. 20 years or more could be significant. Um, so someone could be older, someone could be younger. This could be like a parent, kid thing, someone being lectured, someone being caught. Um, you know, hopefully someone wasn't like sleeping with their stepdaddy or something. But, I don't know. It, it seems like there was some kind of communication that got like way out of hand or control and someone wanted, you know, like... Um, a snack and not the whole it's like you know they wanted to get the milk instead of buying the cow they wanted the milk for free kind of thing so we have a barrier something is frozen with the hangman and the wheel of fortune so it's decision making time <laughs> so something is taking a pause it's time to stop think all right stop collaborate and listen <laughs> you know like um there's a moment of pause here, a moment of hesitation, because when the Wheel of Fortune comes out, that means a decision has to be made, and this could be regarding a message of communication, a message that is sent, being sent, that's going to be received, whether it's by you or somebody sending you the message. Um, you know, it's decision time, and a decision that needs to be made could take someone up higher on the wheel or let them fall. It could actually change the Wheel of Karma, and, you know, if you were experiencing some good luck, it may bring some bad luck. Um, and, you know, the, the reverse is true, but I'm getting the energy that if something is illegal, if something's kind of like against the rules, it could be some kind of like sneaky, you know, secretive kind of thing. It's like, oh shit, maybe I shouldn't be doing this because there's consequences, you know. <clears throat> I 
And we all get faced with this shit, you know, whether you're up, down, sideways, karmic, not karmic, you know, you can not try to be karmic, but you can be karmic to someone's life, like, even if you're in the upright, you know, we all have lessons to learn, and sometimes we have to be the teacher, whether we want to be or not, and sometimes we get taught things that we don't really want to hear. There's a page of cups. There, there's either a slippery offer or some admiration, and so someone could be kind of, like, admiring you, you know, maybe there's a crush or something like that, but there's also, like, a slippery offer, like, they, may, they weren't expecting you to call them out, like, if they're coming to you with a page of cups, if they're coming to you with a page of cups offer and not the ace of cups offer, okay, there's a huge difference there as far as the time, effort, energy being put into whatever situation this is, so... Yeah, see, we ha then we have the Ace of Cups. So, someone could be contemplating this Ace of Cups. Somebody may want to make this love offer, but like I said, there's a difference between... There's like a huge gap, you know, like the 20 years thing that came out. Like, um, even if it's not an age gap, it could just be a gap in where you guys are in the situation. Like, if someone wants just like a hookup, but someone is looking for like a serious commitment kind of thing, it's like someone's like, oh, crush. And then someone's like, no, man, I'm looking for like, you know, someone I want to spend the rest of my life with. So there could be a huge difference, you know, in what the intentions were. And so someone may be trying to backtrack about, you know, what they said, like trying to take something back, but you can't un do it like once something has been said or exposed or acknowledged you, it's like you can't deny it anymore there is going to be a positive outcome when it comes to this ace of cups like a love offer um so i mean there's something that's going to work out in this situation there's going to be a positive outcome this had to do with some sort of swift action or swift communication with some with a star someone who had divine protection someone who could be a divine being you you know you have the wisdom of the ages like you're smart you're intelligent and this could have to do with some sort of communication regarding a third party situation you know i said there was something possibly sneaky going on and this represents a third party and communication so um this could be the ending of some sort of communication or there was some sort of communication going on with a third party but there's going to be a positive outcome for somebody in this So there's a Queen of Wands who's going to get the offer that they've been waiting for. So there's a Queen of Wands here, um, you know, that's been patiently waiting or expecting an offer. So we have someone here who's in despair. That came out sideways. So there's someone that could be in despair either about what they said or what they heard, whether this was the sender of the message or the receiver of the message. There was a financial imbalance here and something is being laid to rest and judgment has been called. So, you know, um... Someone may not have wanted to hear the truth. There could be a third party situation that's going to be laid to rest and someone could be in despair about this. Yeah, there's there's a King of Cups here and, um, you know, the moon, what was done in darkness, being brought to light like secrets revealed. So, you know, there could have been a King of Cups here. Um, it could be a masculine energy or someone in their masculine energy that was kind of thinking about, you know, their own personal things like emotional things um not really logical um so they could have done something like impulsively or were starting to do something impulsively and you know they could have been kind of called out on it possibly even by a third party or you know by someone that they're with if this is a third party situation Yeah, there's a King of Cups who could be in despair. So, I mean, it could be this person who's regretting what they said or whatever action that they took. Yeah, someone was in despair over the Queen of Pentacles, so... Possibly about how they treated them or what they did or what they were trying to do. So, there may be a reconciliation of a partnership. Um... Yeah, there was a financial imbalance and a lack of, you know, financial security or stability for the family here. So uh, there could have been an upset within a family that 
some sort of action taken by a masculine energy or a king of cups energy could have had, you know, lasting ramifications if there was a divorce or something like that or a separation. Yeah, someone was weak and this caused a heartbreak that someone, you know, kind of has to deal with now. So somebody may have been tempted by the low-hanging fruit. This was the challenge here is, you know, whatever decision this was, it was going to result in something that was heartbreaking or it did and someone had to heal from it. Someone had to heal from a lower version of themselves. I'm not getting anything that actually wants to flip out. Those are just some of the challenges that's going on. <clears throat> So once again, strength in the reverse. So somebody's moment of weakness brought something to a screeching halt. So there was a barrier. So somebody was weak, um, you know, easily tempted, fell for the low-hanging fruit. There could be some talk or gossip going on or a meeting. Um, so this could be someone talking or tempted to meet up with somebody. This could be like a secret meetup or something like that. Some sort of, um, there's definitely a meeting or talking, um, conversation, a gathering of some sort. So there could be some talk about a Ten of Pentacles, a, f a financial situation, a family coming together, um, and a divine union, okay? So possibly a soul connection here, Scorpio ending. Um, so this could be, you know, um, a divine union coming together or a partnership. So this could have been a situation where maybe there wasn't a relationship yet and it was headed in that direction because it's the page of cups. So the page of cups could be going from like the page to the ace. It's like, oh shit, like um, we need to backtrack. We need to fix this before it gets out of hand kind of thing. And so there could be some talk going on about um, a future and some sort of stability, long-term stability. But there's definitely a moment of pause here. There was something that made everything come to a dead stop. Yeah, the Ace of Cups came out again. So I'm on the right track here. So there was a message that was sent that kind of brought everything to a screeching halt. Like, um, wait a minute. Let's let's stop and think something through here. Um, but it looks like there is a, a divine offer or a partnership with the Moon and the Ace of Cups here. So ultimately, there could be someone choosing um, family stability, um and choosing to make a love offer with their divine counterpart. There could be, um, I mean, there's three people here on the Three of Pentacles card, so I don't know if this is going to be, like, three people that live under the same roof and, like, a, you know, special situation going on. And, I mean, I suppose it happens. Not judging to each their own. Whatever the whatever's going on here and that that wouldn't be for everyone so that part may not specifically resonate for everyone but there may be a situation here where there could be like the third party kind of moves in with i don't know like um yeah for some it could be that you know the situation is going to end with the third party and um someone's going like if this is a, a situation where someone's married and they were cheating something like that um, they could choose to end something with the third party and choose to, you know, worry about their finances, their financial security, focus on their family, put more effort in at home. This could also be a situation where um, there's a conversation and everyone's cool with just living under the same roof, like all three of them, and being happy together. So I don't know if this was like a threesome situation and like somebody like kind of drifted off on their own for a little bit, but ultimately like there could be a conversation of like, emerging of all three that's not for everybody so don't don't get mad like that part's not for everybody but for some it may be because it's that it's what i see okay so we have some sort of swift action that was taken regarding some sort of communication someone was worried about their financial stability something wasn't growing with an emperor so you know something wasn't manifesting with a masculine energy so you know a third party could have like confirmation <laughs> damn bluetooth speaker i swear um they're talking to me okay so 
yeah, something wasn't going to grow or manifest or be abundant with this emperor. If this was like a third party situation, it could have been the third party that was like, you know what, this is not going to go anywhere. I don't want to be, you know, a side piece. Um, you just need to focus on where you're at and, um, you know, I'm out, like I'm good. Like this isn't going to be a lasting thing. So, you know, like I said, someone may have thought something would be long lasting or lasting for a while. And someone is like, eh, it's not what you think it is. So there's definitely, uh, someone calling someone out and it looks like an emperor may have, um, made a decision or some, a decision could have been made regarding an emperor, a masculine energy, you know, um, husband, father, lover, something like that. Someone close, um, possibly a relative. Um, obviously it wouldn't be good if you were sleeping with a relative, but, um, you know, I don't know. Just saying like there's, there's an emperor here. There's a masculine. And there was a heartbreaking situation. So, you know, um, someone may have felt a little down or needed to heal from something. This may have actually hit someone harder than they expected it to. So, you know, with the, they've got red on their face, like there could have been something that was really heartbreaking to either hear or that actually happened. And then there had to be a conversation after something happened, like, okay, we need to sit down and figure this out because, um, you know, we have to look at all the angles here. Where's this really going to go, especially with a karmic situation. So there was, you know, some heartbreak with the karmic situation and the King of Cups. So, I mean, my cards are consistent and the energy doesn't lie. So there could be, you know, a king of cups who didn't make an offer to someone that was expecting it, you know, or what they deserved. They were juggling. Someone, someone's coming out of the cold here and they are going to have a new start, a new beginning. Someone was keeping secrets. They made a decision to keep a secret regarding someone who may have not, you know, been doing some honorable things with someone who's not held in high honor. So there was a decision that was made possibly to keep something a secret about juggling, um, yeah, and that conversation may not have gone well, so if there was a conversation regarding keeping a third party a secret, something like that, juggling, um, you know, money, finances, family, um, that was not the offer someone wants or expected, so something could be ending and causing a heartbreak, you know, the ending of a cycle, and closing out the cycle could possibly bring some good luck good fortune to someone here so you know if somebody was a third party and they want to elevate do the right thing or you know they're making right decisions or better decisions you know So the Wheel of Fortune is turning. There's a decision that's being made. Wheel of Fortune. So which direction do you go? So it's like all the options may have been laid out. You know, there was a discussion. Now it's decision making time. Because someone wasn't being honest. They rushed in with some sort of lie. Like their intentions... You know, they could have been dishonest about what their intentions were. Like, oh, this is what it's going to be. This is going to be this, that, and the other. But someone wasn't being honest with themselves or with someone else. I'm hearing it looked better on paper. So, like, you know, like when you, you know, on paper it looks good. Like, or in theory it looks good. But when you write it all down, when you lay it all out, like something isn't, you know, <clears throat> the greatest. Oh, so we have the Magician here, and then we have the King of Wands and a King of Cups in the reverse. So, we have two masculine energies that are significant, so, um, it could be a feminine and their masculine energy, or it could be two masculines, but there's something significant about a lie, someone being dishonest so it could be you know a king of wands or a king of cups one of them could have been lying to each other and someone's trying to manifest some shit you know with the magician here someone could also be like shape-shifting it's like wait a minute like you were this way one minute how did you go from this to that it's like someone may feel like another person changed up on them unexpectedly like whoa where did this come from 
Why are we even having this conversation? It's like something went from hot to cold real quick. And then we have a King of Pentacles. So you could be manifesting a King of Pentacles. So, you know, maybe you're done dealing with the King of Cups, the King of Wands energy. Um, but then we have this Three of Pentacles are coming together. So someone could be trying to manifest, you know, a meeting of the minds here. I mean, oh, three masculine energies. Once again, it can be a feminine and their masculines in here too. But there's a lot of masculine energy, like dominance energy, um, you know, like, But there's a gathering, you know, there's a King of Pentacles that's trying to get, like, all three of them together, possibly, like, you know. Somebody is trying to ease their guilt, possibly, regarding a betrayal. It's like someone's trying to relax, not think about something. Um, it's like, how do I make this right without hurting anyone's feelings? It's like, how do we all benefit? You know, it's like they're trying to ease the pain of a possible betrayal. It's like, well, if you can't beat them, join them. It's like, okay, well, instead of sneaking around, how about we all just get together and, you know, party together? And like I said, I'm not saying this is everyone's message, but those three people keep coming out together. Those three pentacles. And then we have these three energies, you know. Um, someone could have that, you know, sexual energy. Someone could be very loving and caring. And someone could be like, you know, doing all right financially. And so it's like, okay, well, what if we all three just get together and figure this out and um then we can all benefit and be happy <laughs> let me know how that works out for you i mean it's a possibility it could happen it could work out there's a ten of pentacles and a six of pentacles so you know something's being balanced out for someone's financial security and stability it sounds like a conversation is going to be had i don't know if this is going to be like all three getting at some point maybe like all three of these people are going to get together and have a conversation but um I don't know. So someone's trying to figure out how to clean up a betrayal, and this is a heavy burden. So there's heavy burden, someone who has to persevere through burdens that they may have been trying to place on someone else, where they feel like they're heavily burdened by trying to clean this up. Like, okay, like I said, it's like someone's trying to ease the guilt of a betrayal or, you know... The feeling of a betrayal, like, okay, how do I get out of this? How do I have my cake and eat it too? How do we all benefit? Um, how do we make a win-win out of the situation here? Because someone was fighting a lot of conflict on their own. Like, somebody was dealing with a lot of shit. And there's some sort of a action or swift communication that's going to be taken to give someone a new start, a clean slate. So, um, you know... Someone could be choosing to go in a different direction, or this could just be new territory. Like, this is kind of crazy. It could be new territory where all three of them kind of live together, work it out, and figure something out. I'm telling you, that three of cups, okay? So something was unbalanced, and this is a challenge if something was out of balance, and someone figures that the scales would be balanced if, like, all three of them were together. So, I don't, I don't know, man. It wouldn't work for everybody, but someone's going to try to make it work. I don't, don't shoot the messenger, please. I mean, you know, it's 2024. I don't, you know, people need to mind their own business. I say it over and over. Whatever people do in their private lives, that's, you know, that's their problem. And that's their business. Someone slept with someone that you know in a contract, deal, or marriage. So there was someone that was in a marriage that slept with someone that, you know, their partner probably knows. There was no good reason, okay? So there's definitely a third-party situation here that this person's trying to figure out. They lied about being in a relationship, and they're trying to cover it up. So, you know, they could have been leading someone on where they lied, you know, um to someone that they were in a relationship with and they could be trying to cover something up and there really was no good reason about someone pretending to want to be in a relationship or um, acting like they you know whatever you called this whatever relationship situation ship this is there was someone that slept with someone that another person knows and it has to do with somebody who was married or in a contract so <clears throat> Someone could have been investigating this, so someone could have been spying, looking into something, and found this out. 
and so someone's trying to cover their ass. <laughs> like, how do I make this right for everyone? Why don't we all three go have a drink and, you know, figure this out together? Some, you know, there's true love involved, and I don't know if this is, like, two people that's true love, or maybe there's some true love with all three of this. I mean, um, as fucked up as this story seems, it's reminding me of a, god, it was a long time ago that I saw this. There was some sort of documentary, and I think it was about, like, Wonder Woman or something like that. It was, like, Wonder Woman, or, I don't know. But it was, like, two women that were living with a masculine, and, like, the masculine was, like, the, um, like, a professor or something like that. Like, there was a married couple, and they were both, like, professors and, like, into doing this stuff, and then they brought, like, you know, a, a younger female in there, and then they, like, like, had kids together and lived in the same house, and I don't know. Like, that's what this is kind of reminding me of, like, to kind of give an example, and I know that would not be for everyone, because I remember watching that, and I'm like, what the fuck? So we have co-worker in the reverse and spell work backfired. So, you know, um, somebody could have been messing around with a co-worker. Like, um, maybe that co-worker hung out with a married couple or something here. Um, somebody wanted to possibly work with someone else or chose not to and something backfired. So, okay, so somebody trying to involve a group thing, um, you know, or didn't involve a group, like, something's gonna backfire. So, when they get together, have a conversation, or there's a conversation about this group thing that's going on here, um, something could have backfired, like, someone may not have been expecting the outcome. Or maybe it didn't backfire, maybe it actually works out because we have co-workers, so maybe they, maybe it doesn't backfire and maybe they end up being a group together, but something's a misunderstanding. And someone actually is guilty of doing something, so... So we have, I only want you in the reverse, and then yeah, you really don't know someone, and someone was embarrassed or ashamed, and then we have a twin flame here. So, you know, proceed with caution. Someone could be helping behind the scenes. So, you know. A sibling or a step-sibling kind of was trying to fall out the bottom, but... I don't know. That may not be relevant for everyone, so I don't know. The step-parent, step-kid thing may be relevant somehow. I don't know. I just feel like there's, like, a group. There's, like, I'm just seeing, like, three people in the same house together living under the same roof. So, however that works out, whether that's a problem or the solution, that's up to y'all. There's There could be an invitation, because life's a struggle. Someone may want some help with an authentic teacher or a prophet so you know maybe life was a struggle for that person and and this married couple wanted to hook up with this person i, I don't know, tread lightly i suppose that could be like past there's an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend that wants you to call or talk to them that could be significant for someone Somebody could be trying to cover up something illegal or immoral. So somebody could have been doing some sneaky shit behind the scenes. Uh, possibly, I mean, whatever illegal activities, was, that's not going to be for everyone. I don't think that is for everyone either. Alright, so beggars can't be choosers between a rock and a hard place. So, you know, it's kind of like um, someone may want you to, like, take what you can get. Like, maybe they feel like you need to settle. Someone had to eat their words and don't step on anyone's toe. So, I feel like this is a very delicate situation, whatever this is. 
So someone may feel like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place because maybe they thought that somebody just would accept any offer. Like if they went to someone with the page of cups and they're like, oh, they'll accept this and they'll just be happy getting the bare minimum. But yeah, if you're expecting this ace of cups here, um, now someone's stuck between a rock and a hard place and they're trying not to step on anyone's toes and now they're trying to tread lightly like, oh shit. Um, fire sign Aries Leo Sag could be significant here. The initials M N O or P could be significant. There could be something significant about December on a Wednesday. something significant about Saturday someone's all talk and no action so you know someone could be making promises that they have no intention of keeping or you know someone's doing a lot of talking but nothing's gonna happen so maybe there's talk about a third party situation uh, possibly talk about all moving in together I don't know someone was not a good kind soul or somebody was a good kind soul and a whole can of worms has been opened so it's possible that someone wasn't as good as they portrayed themselves to be or someone is being viewed as someone who's maybe not a good kind soul or a whole can of worms was opened up for a Libra um, so a Libra may not be as good as they appear to be you know? or something needs to be balanced out with something that happened with someone who was a good kind soul so however you fit in this situation see eye to eye so someone's starting to see things your way like oh now i'm getting it so like after the embarrassment you know all this shit wears off someone is gonna be like oh um okay so this person was right like <laughs> um i'm hearing i don't want to say i told you so but someone could be feeling like you know maybe someone was right about what they said even though initially they were embarrassed or ashamed about something but something's going to happen in the nick of time regarding a pisces because someone erred on the side of caution here so it could have been a good kind soul libra you could have been a good kind soul once been twice shy so you could have been proceeding with caution here because you didn't want to add insult to injury it's like you know if you've been hurt before it's like you know what let's just not let's not like is it really worth it okay somebody's questioning is something worth, it, worth the risk so somebody was trying to pull the wool over someone's eyes who had the wisdom of the ages it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna happen because they got caught red-handed okay whether like i said it was someone who was calling them out all, all their bullshit um you know by the third party or by whoever they were dealing with there's definitely three people connected in this and it's been coming out someone could have been you know opposites attract so someone could have been like someone's opposite or viewed as opposite um like maybe there was an attraction or, or something like that um or somebody thought that you know there were a lot of similarities and there could have been like an attraction because you guys thought you had you know similar interests um somebody was just trying to play the field possibly and aries taurus and sharp as attack so you know it could have been a taurus that was calling an aries out or a taurus could be smarter than they you know appear to be or something like that and they could have been um you know finding out about what an aries did or it could have been like aries could have been the third party whatever uh, someone's really sincere though someone is sincere and someone was pissed off so you know someone was pissed off about somebody playing the field so if this is somebody who unexpectedly came across this third party situation um you know love is blind and wild goose chase so you know someone was like oh you really think you're gonna like sneak around behind my back uh -uh, bring that it's kind of like uh you know that situation like uh 
okay, say your boyfriend cheats on you or something like that, like, and you're a female, and then you go sleep with his girlfriend, like, you, like, that kind of thing, like, I don't, that's just the energy that's like, it's like, oh, if you really thought you were gonna do the shit behind my back, uh-uh, I'm gonna steal your bitch, bitch, like, that kind of thing, I don't know, man, I don't know, we're gonna stop here, though. <laughs> All right, person, place, or thing, O could be significant. Hold on, Hirsch. I'm almost done. Hold on, I'm almost done. E. Hold on. Hey, stop. You. Give me a minute, I'm almost done. R. K. T. Another R, railroad, someone could be at a crossing, railroad crossing, someone could live near a railroad, or they're just at a crossroads, and another E, I'm getting double letters now, so we have T-O-U-K-R-R-E-E, -E. I hope this helps, have a good day.